my electric uh, GE oven uh, <clears throat> went out, the electric uh, heat element up here went out. As you can see, if I turn it on, this won't come on, but the rear one works. You can see that's bright red, but the one up front won't turn on. So I'm going to replace it, and I'll show you how. So first of all, remember to turn off the power, unplug the uh, electric wire from the back. Let's take out the screws. All of these range stoves have two screws underneath here. One screw. Two screws. Next thing, um, find a piece of wood. Find a piece of wood right here, That what I have. And just lift it up and hold on to it, prop it up like so. Okay, now depending on your stove, there's just something that holds it in place. So I'm just gonna one screw right here. Is try not to strip it. And screw right here. Pop it out. And then just unplug it from right there. I'll go and grab the new one first. Okay, so I took out the two screws right here, and now it depends on your stove. They might be secured differently, but the idea is the same. You take it out. So, I don't know if you can see right here, uh, it's uh, burned out, kind of like a, uh, a light bulb. The trace is burned out. Right here is a brand new one. And where I bought this, well, there's two places to buy it. You either buy it online, uh, which actually I found more expensive, or just go to your local appliance stores. Like, I'm not talking about those big local appliance stores. I mean really local, local appliance stores. And they do carry these heat ele elements. So the whole idea is pretty much re removing these two connectors and put it on here. Remove those two connectors and put it on here. So let's do these, let's do it one by one. Taking out one, bottom one, and you put it on here. So next thing, take out this one. Harder than I thought. Let me try a little bit harder. Oh, there we go. Second one. Put it right here. All right. Now we're taking off this one right here. to go. Okay. Plug that in. All right. That's it. So, after you get it all out, Put it back in where you just like before. Alright. So this is a zoom up. I don't know if you can see it, but that's where it was burnt off. 
Let me refocus real quick. There we go. So you can see that's burnt off. And I'm going to put it in the screws and we'll try it out. So my wife just cleaned up the inside of the oven. I guess that's a good idea to do. <laughs> so let's continue on. Um, the only thing you do is you just put back the screws on. Okay, one. Another screw up here. All right. Now let's just close this back down for now. <clears throat> Of course you want to put back those two screws on the bottom, these two on the bottom when you're done, but we're just going to turn it on real quick and see if it works. Alright, this side. Yep, and there it goes, it works.